it's the OCG Fam Show. Today we're talking about one of those double-edged sword cuts both... I, let's just get into it. Hey there, Bob Morgan's Cos and Gardner. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? How y'all doing out there? My shirt okay? Uh, let's talk about in the comments after the show, but right now let's just get into the show. Now, I'm sure we've talked about this because we've talked about almost everything, but I didn't remember it when Scott and I, when this came up in the last viewer questions episode, we were talking about those situations where you're having trouble with your pH dropping too low and your plants aren't eaten and you ramp up your PPMs. All that nutrition gets stuck in the soil there because your plant can't eat it up. What happens when you fix that pH number, what happens with all that nutrition? Well, it, it's a problem. It can be a problem. And it was, I thought it was interesting. And I'd like you to watch this clip. I think you'll, you'll get something from it. So watch the clip and I'll talk to you after. A lot of times when your pH gets that low, your plant just stops eating. So your PPMs actually start to rise. Oh. Once your pH, PPMs start rising and then you get your pH under control, then you see like tip burns immediately because you've just released 750 parts per million with a perfect alkalinity of, you know, 125 parts per million alkalinity at a pH of 6.4. All of a sudden, every gateway opens up and all the nutrition pours in. So if I'm a few weeks in when I've realized I have this problem, before I calcite charge or did anything like that, would I maybe do a flush to try and get some PPM out of my soil? If you're, yeah, if yeah. you're that high. Uh-huh. I would. Because you yeah, don't want it. 750 in your parts per million. Mm. Yeah, 750 parts per million, your pH is 5.9. I would first do it that flush to reduce the PPMs and uh -huh. then start building back that alkalinity in the pH. When I do that flush, am I going to bring my soil pH down even lower? Well, no. Ideally, you'd be doing that flush with like a 7.0 pH. So you... Something to also buffer it. But oh, the main okay. goal is to reduce PPMs without making it more acidic. So just... Raise your pH, flush everything out with the herc, and and really, if you do a higher pH flush, the calcium in Olympus up is the same concept as okay. Herculean calcium, where it's going to help tie up the XM or excess PPMs and flush them out. So when I'm doing my feedings and I'm trying to gradually bring my pH up, I might do a little higher pH, like get into the the six eight somewhere like there with my feeding. But when I'm doing a flush, not a feeding. I can go higher on my pH. Could I get, go even higher than seven, or would you say seven is the the the, the red line? There's just not. A, if you want to go higher, I do recommend doing that carbonated water fix, mm -hmm. where you do the eight, bring it down to six five with carbonated water. Now you have bicarbonate alkalinity built in, which is going to immediately feed the plant or fix that issue. And then meanwhile, it's going to start aiding at building that pH back up in the soil without giving it a food source that's so pH corrected high that your plant can't absorb. At seven, you know, if you're feeding everything at seven five to fix a low pH issue, a high PPM, low pH issue, uh -huh. you've gone the opposite direction of availability. So down here, it's way too low. And now you're gonna try to fix it with S seven five, that's uh -huh. way too high. You're really just shooting all around the target and the pull dot is right in the middle. You gotta aim for that. Cause it's not so even when you're correcting, you want to still do corrective flushing within the realm of consumable calcium. So, you know, six, four, six, seven, uh -huh. your, your correctional flush. But if you go way too much higher than that, the, the pH just makes it so the plant food isn't available anymore. Okay. what do you think of that? Informative, entertaining, helpful. And, uh, what's your situation with that? Have you ever uh, dealt with that where the pH and the, the PPMs and those kind of things? Let's talk about that. But also, um, as we're doing the show here, we're a long way into this thing, 700-some episodes. What do you want to do? Should we, uh, are we getting too nerdy? Should we get back to basics a little bit for new people coming in? Um, should we get nerdier? I don't know. I'm, I'm curious what you guys are thinking we should do with this show and where we should go with it. I'm just, uh, we'll figure it out. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show. It's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.